This is Michael Wilson. Today we're looking at who was Job? Let's do it, my friends. Job was a righteous and godly man who lived in the land of Uz, which is probably located in the modern day Saudi Arabia. He was very wealthy, had a large family. He feared God and shunned evil. And he regularly offered sacrifices for his children in case they had sinned against God. Job's life seemed perfect until one day, everything changed. God allowed Satan, an angelic adversary, to test Job's faith by taking away everything he had. His children, his servants, his livestock, his health, and even his friends. Job was left with nothing but his wife, who urged him to curse God and die. Well, Job did not curse God, and he did not die. But he did question God. He wanted to know why he was suffering so much, and what had he done wrong, and how he could find justice. He had three friends who came to comfort him, such as that may be, but they ended up accusing him of being a sinner and deserving his misery. They argued with Job for many chapters, but they could not convince him or explain his situation. Finally, God himself spoke to Job out of a whirlwind. He did not answer Job's questions directly, but he challenged him with many questions of his own. He showed Job his power and wisdom in creating and sustaining the universe, and he asked Job if he could understand and control any of it. He also rebuked Job's friends for speaking falsely about him. So Job realized that he had spoken out of ignorance and that God was sovereign and incomprehensible. He repented of his words and trusted God's justice and mercy. God then restored Job's fortunes and gave him twice as much as he had before. He also gave him 10 more children and a long life. So Job's story teaches us many lessons about suffering, faith, and God's character. It shows us that suffering is not always a result of sin or lack of faith, but sometimes a test or even a mystery. It shows us that faith is not a blind experience or denial of reality, but honestly wrestling with God and trusting him despite our circumstances. It shows us that God is not cruel or indifferent, but he is powerful and wise and that he takes care of his people and will ultimately reward them. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.